I'm Philip Leach. I'm the director of the European Human Rights Advocacy Centre, ERAC, based at Middlesex University. And we've been working for 12 or 13 years now, supporting NGOs in the former Soviet region, in Russia and Ukraine, in Georgia, Armenia and, and Azerbaijan. Since we've started, we've successfully litigated 100 cases to judgment in Strasbourg, and we have more than 200 other cases pending and an ever-increasing caseload because particularly at the moment of cases from eastern Ukraine but also other cases from Russia and the South Caucasus states. In my previous life, before I joined the European Court of Human Rights, I was myself a member of different NGOs dealing with many different projects and I know perfectly how important it is for the society that NGO uh, raise certain issues. Ну, с Анной Юдковской наша организация очень давно знакома и в очередной раз мы встретились, она рассказала очень много интересных вещей, на которые нам стоит обратить внимание, это было очень полезно и, и вовремя. Uh, we are working for a number of years with ERAC in the framework of the implementation of our projects. We had a project, the cooperation project on the reform of the judiciary in Ukraine, in particular the execution of the judgment in case of Volkov against Ukraine, very well described by ERAC in the case itself. What I thought was interesting was that the lawyers didn't differentiate between, in their in their submissions between uh, the Article 6 implications on their presumption of innocence and the Article 8 on privacy, and they went from one to the other to the other to the other, which I know that for ERAC staff trained in the British system, we would have been much more likely to take them one by one. Iraq lawyers do as much work um, for us um, as it is possible. So it always seems that there are like up to 50 lawyers because they are always uh, helpful and um, help us with uh, certain legal issues. It's very important to, you know, to build bridges between people. It's very important that we understand each other and uh, this way we can help our clients. For lawyers and for civil society, it's important to know why uh, we're here. The Venice Commission is doing constitutional law. So we are lawyers and we prefer meeting lawyers. ERAC is a very good combination. So there is this core group of British lawyers based in London. It's very important. It helps us again to raise a problem, to show the problem from different perspectives and to issue judgment which is extremely valuable for the relevant state and relevant society. It's often said in the Committee of Ministers that uh, Without implementation, a judgment of the court is just a piece of paper. It's really the implementation that gives force to it. Um, it is the case that there can be difficulties with specific countries. In our experience, ERAC works as a kind of a link to national NGOs. Ireland has a very positive experience of working with ERAC in relation to certain cases uh, at uh, implementation stage in the context of the execution of judgments debates at the Committee of Ministers. With the help of ERAC, um, they provided us with uh, several uh, international instruments um, other than European Convention. We, can, we could substantiate um, in a better way our requirement. Now we can do our work more with more understanding, with more, uh, you know, feeling what we do, and uh, we are more, would say, sophisticated, more experienced, and have more knowledge. And uh, you can, so we can do it much more easier than we did before. We also recognise that following through on the cases is very important. We take steps to try to ensure that governments uh, take the measures that they need to take to make sure that these violations don't happen again. ИХРАК оказывает нам некую экспертную помощь, ведёт дела, я думаю, что это будет продолжение, это очень интересно для нас всех.
The heart of what we're trying to do is to secure justice for some of the most vulnerable people on the continent and to challenge impunity.